Hello and welcome to this new game. Aren't you already getting kind of like mystic vibes from it? I don't know about y'all, but I'm really feeling it. Anyway, all the same. Hello, hi for being here. Hi for being here. Hi, thank you for being here. Big thanks to everybody who's followed. Big thanks to everybody who's here. Know that I appreciate you. Thank you for trying out this new game with me. I've, uh... I've got really high hopes for it. I can already tell it's going to be a game that I kind of at least appreciate. Here's hoping I can actually make it all the way through. Yeah, I made the dubers a little extra large since they have their own space there at the bottom now. Oh, look at this beautiful animation. Imaginative this world is already. Ah, oh, finally. I can't use a key. Oh, uh oh. I can't use the. Oop. I can't use the key wall. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. Spirit Pharaoh. The Spirit Pharaoh. Well, that is what I have been until the Aura arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do. I am afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Um, Starhead! Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Cat. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit, Pharaoh. Listen. Listen. Your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Oh. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. Everdor. There is no task more important than this one. Still, never forget this, Stella. So it's just like, okay! Like my hat? Shape of a star! Like me! Kimaraki! Thank you for hosting! I love you, Key. 
Here, there's something I need to give you. Stick! Light! Now, be really careful with it. Everlight. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Mm. Wait, what are you... Daffodil, what are you doing? What are you doing to Sharon? Oh, how highly inappropriate. Daffodil, what are you doing? You took the light? You took the light from Sharon? Aw, oh, could you adorably playing it with it? I can't stay mad at you. Oh, I can't stay mad at you, Daffodil, with your adorable little play play. And you, you, you pop it up in the air and you. you Settles it. Everlight. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. Oh Lord in heaven. Daffodil, you're so cute! Daffodil, you're the cutest! Name you kickflip. Can I do that? Or is it too late? Because everything's gonna say your name. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. I like that. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit fairies. You are the new spirit fairies, after all. Just one thing. Just one thing. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rolling in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so long. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. Bye, Sharon. Thank you for everything. Have fun going through the Everdoor. Oh man, I'm gonna cry at this game. This game is gonna make me cry. Oh, thank you, Daffodil. You're a huge help. Oh, my ship! My ship has sank. Press A to jump. All while jumping to climb through platforms. Okay. What is that? Stella. Oh, it's that person. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Mm -hmm. You look good. Daffodil's here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. It might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me. Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm -hmm. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. 
I've been stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm hmm. Hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? Adonde? Ah. Estoy boat. Estoy barca. Mm hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it'll work since you're the spirit for her. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Ooh. Hey, I like that. When you got like a big old antlered spirit hanging over you. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh my god, this game. I love this game. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. As and as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits to your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. Hug! 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 No. Hug. Talk. Food. Give. Hug. Mood. Mood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. Beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. He must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It'll unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. You know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just, use, just have to get out of the shipyard. <laughs> Out of bed. Mm, hey, Dana Case Gully Mulder cheered a hundred yum yums, saying, Love you, have my last bits because as well I can. Well, thank you, Dana Case Gully Mulder. Truth is out there. Stella?
optimist about our new journey was recently hugged. Can I hug you again? Mm -hmm. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Can I food you? Nope, I don't have food. Mm -hmm. As I understand, this ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Fairs, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Mm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But it, I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try and make sense of all. Mm. As I said earlier, I just I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm -hmm. You can even give that fish an order to try. The world is your oyster. Gling gling. Oh. I got the fish. I got the other fish. Here we are. Albert Shipyard Discovery. down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Goodbye, Stella. Bye, Gwen. I'm Stella. Big thanks to everybody who's followed recently. Queen Reverdy, Cammy the Killer, Bossy Blonde, and Royal Black. Thank you all so much. Over here. <laughs> Welcome to Shipyard, young traveler. <laughs> Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business for shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new Spirit Fair? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here at all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Enterprise. Ha! Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Sharon was unhappy about this gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right, so I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this alone. Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit of bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at a small price. At such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. 
kindly upgrade the ship. Ooh, what do I want you to upgrade? Uh, I got no monies. This one. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. <laughs> but if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Bye, thank you. Come, cat. Away. Oh, I am in the water. Oh, I am in the water. Press thing to review active requests. Set sail, Captain. Talk to Gwen. Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this desk. Deck. You can go to your blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Uh. Is it this? No, that's something else. Above your cabin. want to salvage this building, you'll get back the following resources. Cleaned up. Look at that. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Unnecessary am amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcomed spirits, such as myself, will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. You have fun. I build the house. With a little bit of water and care, your cereal seeds will grow up in no time. Garden, the perfect place to nurture your veggie seeds and healthy greens. Kitchen for all your cooking needs. Or a guest house. Everybody's welcome in the guest house. When you go to your house, very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, uh, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. 
very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Mm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, so you should... As absurd as it sounds, so you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to get some. Hmm. I... Mm -hmm. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. They will appear as dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Don't ask me how, but I've met Halbert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross all minus weather barriers in the world. They look like classic with the old challenges again. I'll be cliche if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. Mm -hmm. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. What's happening? Everything
good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Mm -hmm. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. I'm not the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm -hmm. You even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm -hmm. Slowly digesting myself. You don't sound as patient as you made yourself seem. Let's build us a kitchen. Stella. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep under story. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Lovely kitchen. Mm -hmm. You can now use the kitchen's oven. Should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm -hmm. You can even try those loose corn kernels that have been hanging over in my pockets. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. I go. Hello, I cook. Daffodil is so cute.
Oh no, 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 no. The burning fish. Ah, oh, let him sleep till morning. Uh, maybe in the meantime we can cook some corn. In case they don't like the fish. Some corn, make some fish, make some more fish. I like this game. It's all about real-time waiting and patience and bonds and connections and... Come on, Daffy, let's do something adorable. Good job, Daffy. Dollet. Hey, Swana Yuki. Thank you for hosting. E Reyes. Thanks for following. QA32 CA. Thanks for following. Curtis, thanks for the host. I can't... Oh, maybe because it's morning time now. I think that's early morning enough. I can smell it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. That cake looks very much not like grilled fish. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. And then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, spirits don't run in sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. 
Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. Mm -hmm. Not sure exactly how it works, but an O-Ball is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. Something tells me you knew that already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm -hmm. Which means you can grow many different things. Turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here. And you can grow linen in it. Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. Mm -hmm. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mosteen Cove. And there's something on it we need. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when we get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Still, I'm not hungry right now. Ah, I should have gave you the pop coins. Stella. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. Mm -hmm. You here taking care of me in my final hours? You've always cared so damn much about others. Mm -hmm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember that day my father yelled at the cat? Mm -hmm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed a purple Delano vase. It was red. <laughs> Is Quinn gonna die? Does that mean Quinn is gonna die? Up on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Let's go do that. This game is cute, but I keep falling asleep. I swim, I swim, I swim, I swim, I swim. Majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. <laughs> Thank you, Daffodil. Well done. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. 
I'll be next to the raft. as long as possible break a mining node. We have ransacked this place through and through, Gwen. Garden gonna be big too. Can't build that yet. better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all I have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. You know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. 
Theodore is special as it seems. Mm -hmm. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values, very loose indeed. Yes, this world is a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little, cra little raccoon once, and his uh, dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird then. <laughs> Here, let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Mm, let's pay him a visit. Good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fairer and the Everlight. Mm -hmm. I heard this monument has a power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use opals to activate it. But to get opals, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find more last lost souls like me. Uh -huh. I'm 
sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. This place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. Good. Mm -hmm. There's Theodore. Go ahead and take a look at what he's selling. Oh. A step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Rockthorn Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. Hey. You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the ways to make you spend those hard earned glims. Step right up. Give me all your, give me all your, give me all your, give me all your, give me, give me, give me, give me that. I can't afford any of this. What was that? Mm -hmm. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes, no, yes. Mm -hmm. Good, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm -hmm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Mm -hmm. What? I must have been of this. Mm -hmm. My friend here is the new spirit fairer. But she's not a newbie. And neither am I. Mm -hmm. The little scam of yours won't work on us. Oh. Uh, but I'll, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior more, one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Mm -hmm. Just fair prices. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So stop being disobedient, dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm -hmm. Got it? Oh, uh, but... Yes. Yes, of course. Hey. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I bet you please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. A friend really give that greedy merchant some hell. Mm -hmm. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Mm. Not gonna lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Mm. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. Mm -hmm. But some other you lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. I want to join the upstairs crew. It's all I ever wanted. This is five thousands. This is seventy. If I recall correctly, I never forget a face, especially if they have shiny glims. Don't be shy, I haven't looked if you fancy. Mm. If, if you 
you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this happy, happy dancing guy. Royal, can you post the gif? Or the emoji? You know which one. There it is. Thank you, Rocks. Simply adore your hat. My local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks, mm. all useless items. I need a hat like yours. Yes, you do. baby. I didn't see you in the chat there. Demont say... <laughs> Demont say they're, they're sorry for <laughs> banning you by accident. <laughs> she says, dang. She messaged me and says, dang, I said spirit farter and got banned very briefly. <laughs> Ah, this game would be very different if it was called Spirit Farter. Oh, yeah. I think... What do I think? Well, I'll tell you what I think in just a little bit. Plant. Planting this one. And planting this one. And the planting. And then we do the water. And we do the water. And we do the water. It's just like when I go to my baby's Animal Crossing Island. She just makes me water all her plants. I was gonna say, I think this game is beautiful, and I think it's gorgeous, but I think my always sleepy, potentially adult ADHD ass has the, I don't know if I have the patience for it, because I, I feel like I'm like falling asleep every couple of seconds here. Or maybe I just need better sleep. But it's so nice, and I, I haven't even cried once yet. You haven't even brought anybody to the Everdoor. Okay, let's not quit on it just yet. Let's at least bring somebody to the Everdoor. What do we do now? So we're planting the thing. We should go... Barkenshine. Why, is, why are money trees sacred? I need to know this. For those of you who may be watching this back, I'm getting yelled at in chat because I shook the missus' money trees. So I was walking around, I see this tree, and the tree has money in it instead of fruits. I'm like, okay, you know, I've been working really hard all week watering these plants. 
I feel like I am entitled to shaking this money tree. I don't need money. I just want to shake it and get all these money bags. And I did it, and it's like the worst, worst crime against humanity. And I'm just like the biggest evilest person for doing so. Don't even make no sense. You don't need the money. I don't need the money. So what's the big deal with the money tree? Let me tell you why you can't shake the money trees. Okay, dude, dude, here we go. Do tell me. Keep, keep in mind you're talking to the new spirit fairer here, so when you put when you when you use my name, put some respect on it. So I've located my two furniture trees. Furniture trees. The money doesn't grow back. Yeah, so you don't need money anyway. And if you shake the money trees, you have to invest your own money to grow one. But you don't need money. Why are you ahead of me, Stella? Mm -hmm. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. My furniture's get relocated. You have to invest it. First off, furniture doesn't grow on trees. So you're already not making sense. Unless it's wooden furniture. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Mm -hmm. Don't ask my word for it, though. My own gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Because one of the money trees turns into regular trees. My gardening knowledge... Oh, what is happening? My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find a new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spirit fairer. And spirit fairers find spirits. Yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Mm -hmm. Go. Let's sail. This is like Okay, I yell, but you can still shake. Thank you, baby. I will never shake the money tree again. I didn't know it was so sacred. I didn't even need the money. I just wanted to shake it because it looked so nice. I didn't know it was so precious and difficult to get, and it would ruin all your furniture. <laughs> the game don't make no goddamn sense. something for you. You're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. I told you. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. She's maximum happy. That's fine.
Okay, we're gonna go there where they want us to go. But first, I want to do this jellyfish fish. Maybe you should know the mods are saying. <laughs> See, this is the effect of the misses. If one of us had said this about the money tree, he would run around shaking all the money trees. It's so true. <laughs> I would ruin every single money tree, and it would ruin the channel, or ruin the whole island or garden or whatever, and everyone would just put up with it because they... Cause I'm an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone will be like, well, that's what Cardlin did, so I guess we don't have money trees now. This is gave me an earful about that damn money tree. I'm like, alright, dang sh alright, shit! Fuck! I won't touch the dang thing. F Give me all of your jelly, jelly. What is this now? A jellyfish. Here they come again. Phew, I don't feel great. Go, I still have faith in you. I'll watch from inside. Yes, you watch from inside. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Oh, I want them to come. They got all the monies. Oh, uh, what? It's so high. Shit. We did it! Yeah, glims are money. The yellow ones are money, and then the green ones are bright jelly, which I can use to build stuff. I should probably, since we're expecting a new person, no, this is not the building place. Oh, everybody stays in the one house. I see.
It's does it rain? When is rain? Is everything okay when rain? Hello, it's rain. Oh, this rain! Will it ever stop? Same thing twice. So let's. Daffodil do a sleep. Oh, he's a sleepy sleep sleep kitty mm. cats. Oh, you can pet the you can hug the daffodil. <laughs> Got two steam selfish. Two 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 steam self two steam shellfish. No, no, that's adorable, but no. Get up. Hey, get up. Gwen. Gwen. Oh, it's sleepy time. I'm bad. Come on, Daphne, he sleeps. Baby, are you still in chat? I miss you. I need to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Marking time. Peak discovered. a little bit more fun.
<laughs> Look at Davidil's face. Here. Oh, listen. I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all. Okay, that's Jed's voice. Try a different voice. Oh, uh. I want to see what animal it is first. My, f my fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless, it's just down there, in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. I do it. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you can help me? This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I can even help, you help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Let's just go to my boat. Let's just cut of the tree. Watch out! What animal is that? Is that a frog? The hippopotamus? I'm sure you'll need someone who can make repairs on your boat at some point. I'll be your favorite new passenger. Just you wait. Stella! Oh wow, this boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. You're ready for a family reunion. It's me! The Froggy Frog! Um. Um. When I'm being, it sounds like me when I'm being sarcastic. Oh, um. It's me, Stella. Your uncle, I told. Surprised? Ooh. Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights to see with you. Ooh. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Oh. Is oh. that a... Look at him hippity hopping. Look at him do it. Yeah. I knew it. Oh. That's a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. Only heard the rumors. I guess he's just going to be Jet now. I only heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing on mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. What? Oh. 
Wow, oh, I got a squeed. Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me. Look at this shiny thing on my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious, I might have always already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll take go and I'll take go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Obble. Which means I can now use the obble to do a double jump ski. You came to talk to me. Like I said earlier, we need more people on this boat. New passengers. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a few people around. Lost like I was. I mean, not exactly like me. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of a few things that might go unnoticed by most. That's why my father was always suspicious of me. And why mom gave me a hard time for it. <laughs> Alright, there is some kind of background to... Mm -hmm to Gwen and Stella that is going to break my heart. Mm. You got two obols. Remember that shrine in Humminburg? I'll try and add them there. Mm. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Alright, I will go see next time we play this, but for now, I gotta get going. So I do want to say a big thank you. Double jump will help with the glims. Double jump will also help me reach the uh, second floor, the upper... What is it? The second floor society? They were calling themselves. Well, this is a nice chill stream. Sorry for the couple of times I fell asleep on y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. Baby, thanks so much for joining us as well. Mods, thanks for holding it down, as always. Big thanks to Daffodil for being adorable. Big thanks to everybody who followed in the bits. The subs, y'all the best. This might be the stream that uh, makes me eligible for partner, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I should be back tomorrow, though no promises. I might be spending the afternoon with my boy. Uh, and uh, I'll for sure be back on Thursday with the boys. You know them all too well. And of course, I'll be back on Sunday albeit on YouTube, for Tinkles and Dargoans. Alright. I love y'all. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.